From dietary trends and healthy plates to creative and adventurous dishes, local restaurants are trying new things while holding strong to their traditions. People are actually getting a little daring and stepping out of the box in the culinary world, and we love to see that. We learn what these restaurants are doing to keep customers coming through the door in On the Menu. On the Menu is sponsored by Price Heating and Cooling. Many restaurants in the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys rely on traditional, authentic cuisine to keep their regulars coming back again and again. A lot of our core authentic Italian recipes have really never changed over a multitude of generations. Both my parents are both born and raised in Greece. I've cooked just about everything on this menu hundreds of times. I like to show a real authentic uh, restaurant. A lot of her recipes come from her family. We do have a lot of customers that come back for our traditional meals and that's one of our, our staples here at the restaurant. However, new food trends are pushing some restaurants to add new dishes to their traditional menus. The whole farm to table, you know, the antibiotic free, steroid free, uh, you know, trends that we're seeing, people are becoming much more health conscious in terms of what they're eating, whether it's just at home or outside. Even though we have our main staple items here, there's always something new or something different that people want and you have to try to keep them coming back with a variety of you know, different items. A recent survey by the National Restaurant Association found that 55% of fine dining restaurants are making changes to their menu and 55% of family dining operators are planning to add healthier menu items. First thing we're going to do, we're going to start our pasta off in some water I got boiling here. That's the case here at Scarcella's Italian restaurant in Boardman, says executive chef Sean Kushma. We continue to try to come up with new things every every year and every few months, you know, something new. We try specials and if they take off, we'll, we'll add them to the menu. Kushma says he's been incorporating new proteins into dishes and also trying to keep on top of spice and sauce trends. We do make a bolognese sauce now, which was kind of something we never did. Experimenting with different proteins is also on the menu here at Michael Alberini's restaurant restaurant and wine bar in Boardman. We're doing black buck antelope, we've done rattlesnake, we're doing wild boar, uh, pork belly. People are actually getting a little daring and stepping out of the box in the culinary world and we love to see that. And now that summer is over, a lot of restaurants like Alberini's are introducing new fall and holiday menus. During the winter, spring and, uh, winter, spring and fall months, we're always much busier than uh, we are in the summer. Another trend on the rise is gluten-free foods, whether it be for allergens or special diets. Uh, we do offer um, th different gluten-free pastas, mm -hmm. um, so we, we do make sure that we cook everything separate. At Mabogo Asian Cuisine and Hermitage, manager Christina Lim says most of the dishes they serve are gluten-free. Ours is cooked to order, so you can sometimes very, uh, specify you don't want it too oily, yeah. you don't want it too salty, I don't want soy sauce in it, I'm allergic to this. So we try to cater to people's needs and wants. They're also catering to their customers by offering special products like shaved ice and boba tea. With patrons becoming more health conscious, many establishments are using healthier, fresh ingredients. We have a lot of uh, customers that come in and tell, me, tell us that they lost a lot of weight eating here. Having fresh, healthy ingredients is also a focus at Zenobia Middle Eastern Cuisine in Canfield. Isdahar Mansour is the owner. This is all about the, the food. And I like to bring all that in here, uh, like how I cook for my family. Mansoor says she likes to use a lot of organic ingredients, and she it's grows a, many of her own spices, like fruits, and vegetables yeah. right outside in the garden. When I cook uh, everything here, I cook it from uh, scratch, the, the lamb, the chicken. I don't use any stuff frozen, any uh, product like yeah. that. It's all That's fresh awesome. and all good. The Little Greek Fresh Grill in Boardman also prides themselves on making fresh from scratch food. George and Patty Campos opened the franchise a little over a year ago. We keep seeing new customers daily, which like blows my mind. We thought that the concept would do really well here in the Youngstown area. We sell a lot of, of the Yidos. We sh sell a lot of chicken pitas. I would say that the two dishes that really exemplify us as being Greek and Greek culture is the pasticho. It's all 100% um, made from scratch. The stuffed grape leaves, or domatas as we call them in Greek, are um, more uh, probably as authentic as a dish can become. Campo says one thing they wanted for the restaurant is community involvement, which is why two of the desserts they serve are made by the Greek Orthodox Church in Boardman. 
One is called Galactoburico and the other one is called Ekmek. Many of the restaurants agree that the key to keeping customers returning is quality, consistency and customer service. In other words, a tradition of excellence. I think dining is, uh, for me it's not dinner and a show, I think dinner is the show. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's the feeling you have when you walk in, get served, enjoy a nice meal in the right atmosphere, comfortable, and you leave feeling very good about the experience you had. You know, with the hostess thanking you on the way out the door, you, we like to think that they're going to come back. Be sure to check out Friday's Daily Buzz as restaurants take us into the kitchen to show us how they prepare some of their most popular dishes. You can read more in the November issue of the Business Journal out now. Click the subscribe tab to order your copy today.